Okay, so welcome to Slow Flow and Restore. Um, tonight's or today's practice is just all about um, really just chilling out and grounding down and having a really nice restorative experience. So first things first, I want you guys to make sure that you are super comfortable. So um, putting on socks, sweatshirts, sweatpants, I mean, depending on the weather, wherever you're at, um, get as comfortable as you can. And second thing is let's talk about vibes. So um, vibes for restorative practice, in my opinion, should be just like, I want you to be as blissed out as possible. So if that means turning off the lights, lighting a candle, uh, pouring a glass of wine, eating an edible, uh, <laughs> whatever is gonna make you feel really blissed out, I want you to do that. And then um, last thing, we're gonna set up our props. So um, I have two, two uh, pillows, one blanket and then one block. If you don't have a block, no worries. Um, but definitely grab a couple of pillows and a blanket. So I'm going to put my pillows off to the side here to start. And we're going to take our blanket if you have one. And you're just going to undo the blanket. So I have mine folded, double folded. So it looks like this, double fold. And I'm going to lay out the blanket along my whole mat. And so this just creates a little bit of extra cushion and support when we're practicing. And it actually feels really good and restorative when we have the blanket on our mat. And then you can set one of your pillows to the side. I'm gonna set mine up here. And then you're gonna place your second pillow. I have like those big, pillows that are kind of like bolsters. You're gonna place your second pillow at the very top of your mat and we will get started in a restorative child's pose. So um, for anyone that's just hopping on, this is slow flow and restore. We're gonna move really slowly and flow and warm up the joints for about 20 minutes and then we'll slow down long holds for the last 40 minutes, okay? So two big toes come to touch, knees will open wide. You're gonna bring that uh, pillow pretty close to you. And then you'll bend your elbows, place your elbows on top of the pillow, create a prayer with your hands. Forehead will rest down on that pillow. And then eventually your thumbs will come and kiss the back of your heart. And we'll be here for about three long minutes, three sweet, sweet minutes. So close your eyes. Begin to focus on your awareness and your breath. And begin to sink your hips back, 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 all the way towards the heel. Open up your mouth and let's take three deep cleansing breaths together to begin. So go ahead and let a deep, deep exhale out of the mouth. Good, take a big full breath in. Loud open mouth exhale. Good, two more just like that. Big breath in. Nice big sigh of relief, exhale. Nice, last one, full inhale. Big, full exhale. And continue on with the breath just like that. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just feel the rib cage expand and contract in between your thighs. And I just started the music, so if you guys can't hear it, maybe someone, brave soul, can get up and let me know. And then really important in our restorative practice to set an intention.
So when I used to teach restorative a few times a week in San Francisco, I would notice the people that would come to practice were really looking to, you know, let go of something, stress, tension, maybe to grieve something, someone. Maybe someone came to heal their body or maybe to heal their baby if they were pregnant. And so a lot of us come to our restorative practice in search of something. And so I invite you to take time right here, right now to think about why you're here and allow yourself to set a really meaningful intention, a mantra, something you can continue to come back to as you rest. And see if you can let the back of your head, your skull completely relax. And after you've set that intention, I want you to take five really deep, clearing, nourishing breaths in through the nose and out of the mouth. Filling the ribs, the lungs, all the way up. And then exhaling, emptying all that stale air out of your lungs. Just taking one more, just like this. Good. Slowly begin to extend your arms out long in front of you. So you're in normal child pose. And then with your hands, just go ahead and move your pillow out of your way. But try not to make it too dramatic. Just let your forehead rest back down on the mat. Crawl your fingertips really far forward and send your hips all the way back. Together here, we'll take a big breath in and a big breath out. Keeping your hands grounded, slowly begin to move your hips to the right and to the left in your child's pose. Just lifting them up slightly. And then start to make those movements a little bit bigger. So you're just moving the hips over to the right, over to the left. Keep making it bigger and bigger until your shoulders are almost stacked over your wrists when you come forward. Good. And then the next time we move to the right, we're gonna move in a big circle. So your chest will come over your right wrist, move over towards the left wrist. Hips will move back towards the left heel, over towards the right heel. Just take those big, gigantic circle. So these are called barrel rolls. Starting to bring some mobility into the hips and the wrist. Let your head be heavy. Let your jaw be soft. And then once your hips come back towards your heels, just change directions nice and easy. Big circle. Continue to let the head and neck be really, really heavy. And just take one last one. We'll all meet back in that child's pose. 
Two big toes are touching, forehead is down. Fingertips are nice and long. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, let's all come forward to a tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We'll just move through some traditional cat cows here. So inhale, drop the belly, open the heart, gaze lifts. Eyes can remain closed. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Good, inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. And keep it going just like that. Just cycling with your breath. Warming the spine. Really opening up all of that space in front of and behind your heart. We'll take about two more. Just enjoying this, letting it feel good. Good, and then we'll meet in that neutral table. Walk your hands to hand, hand prints closer towards the front of the mat. And then as you inhale, you'll drop your pubic bone down, open your heart, hold here. So it's kind of like up dog but the thighs are down. The legs are a little bit more relaxed than that. Hold the chest forward, take a big breath in. Good, exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, move it all the way back into a child's pose. Forehead grounds down. Full breath in. And out. Let's cycle through that now. So inhale, come forward. Drop the pubic bone down, open the heart. Good, exhale, chin to chest. Push it all the way back, child pose. Keep moving just like that. Inhaling brings you forward. And exhale, pulls you back. Keep moving just like that. You have time for about seven to 10 more. Moving nice and slow. Peeling the spinal column open. Feeling that comfort, that warmth emanating from inside of your body all the way out. Good, you guys. Looks so nice. And just know in this restorative practice, you can do whatever you want to feel comfortable. So if child's pose holding there is feeling nice for you, then please, please do whatever feels good. You have time for about two more. And we'll close out our last one, holding in that up dog like shape with the thighs on the ground. Pull the chest forward. And then go ahead and tuck your toes under. Take a big breath in. Knees stay down, hips pull back, exhale. Toes are tucked. Arms come nice and long and then begin to straighten your leg. Coming into downward facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. Let the hips lift up and back. Notice how it feels a little bit different on top of the blanket. And then bend your right knee deeply. Send your left heel down towards the mat. Hold here for three deep breaths. Full breath in. Sigh it out. Shoulders are relaxed. Full inhale. Full exhale. Last one. Big breath in. Let it out. Change sides, left knee bend, right heel drops. Three breaths, inhale. Let it out. Full breath in. Let that go. Clearing out the energy, full inhale. 
something out. Let it release. <sighs> Lift both heels up nice and high. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Heels come down. Slowly begin to walk your hands all the way towards the back of the mat. Feet are a tiny bit wider than your hips. Knees bend slightly, grab your elbows, let your head and neck be heavy. Uttanasana, forward fold. So we're exaggerating the bend in the knees a little bit more than we would in a vinyasa practice. Our chest is resting on top of our thighs, head and neck is heavy. If it feels good, you can move just a tiny bit side to side. Feeling the feet rooted and grounded like tree trunk. And then find stillness right down the center line. Open up your jaw, let out a big sigh of relief. Three more breaths. Eyes are closed. Feel your spine decompress, get nice and long. Letting all of your worries, any stress, any tension, just trickle off of your back, off of your mat. There's no need for that. Take one last breath in. Exhale, begin to interlace your hands at your lower back. Let your head, your neck remain heavy as your fists glide over the top of the head. Taking this deep shoulder opener in our forward fold. Allow your chest to open as your spine gets even longer. Try to distribute the weight equally into all parts of the foot. Good, two more breaths. Last breath in. Exhale, release your fingertips all the way down towards your mat. Slowly take your dog for a walk. Downward facing dog. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Hips come nice and high. Head is heavy. Create more space in between the shoulders and the earlobes. Take a full inhale. Full exhale. Good. Right leg will rise high up to the sky as you inhale, but don't use too much effort. Remember, we're slowing it down. Exhale. Right foot steps outside of your right hand. Good, you guys. Drop your left knee down. Pull your heart, your chest forward. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, grab one of your props. So your pillow or your block. I like my block for this one. And as you exhale, see if you can just slowly begin to drop the elbows down onto the mat. If they can't come down onto the mat, they're coming down onto the block. And if they can't come down at all, you're just staying on your hand. If you are on your elbows on the mat, I want your forehead resting on the block or the pillow. We'll be here in our lizard's pose for about 10 full long deep breaths, allowing our hip flexors to open. So with your head, your neck rested, Begin to unclench your jaw. So let your bottom jaw fall away from your top jaw. Feel your tongue move around in your mouth. And then your shoulders will begin to move away from your earlobes. Finding nice long sides of your neck. Maybe you can move the block a little bit closer towards the mat as the hips begin to open up. Good, you guys. Two more breaths.
In your next inhale, remove your props out of the way. Hands will come underneath the shoulders. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your hips up and then hop your left foot in a little bit. Straighten your right leg and begin to walk your right foot in between your hands. Pyramid pose. Let your head, your neck, your torso drape over your right leg. You might need your hands on props here. Feel the right hip bone tugging back to allow more space for your spine to relax forward. Taking this nice forward bend is so cooling and relaxing for the body. As you push your right big toe mound down, I want you to take about five more full deep breaths right here. See if your torso can relax a little bit more. Last breath. Good. Look forward. Bend into your right knee. Now bend into your left knee. Let your left knee drop. Pull your chest forward. Pull the shoulder blades together on the upper back. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Palms plant down. Tuck your left toes under and then send your right leg all the way back, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Full inhale. Big exhale. Left leg rises all the way up, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot outside of the left hand. Good, you guys. Right knee drop. Pull the chest forward, untuck your right toes, drop your hips super low. Take a big inhale. Exhale, drop those elbows down, grab your prop. Lizard's pose. So again, I'm grabbing this block. I'm gonna place it on the highest height and then rest my forehead down on it. Some of you might be wondering, are you rolling on to the outer edge of your left foot or is the sole of your left foot down? It really doesn't matter. I want you to be where your body needs to be. So play around with it. Find yourself in that space where the jaw is nice and comfy. And the hips keep dropping down, down, down. Seven more breaths. And I'm noticing my hips are a lot more open now. So I'm going to change the placement of the block so it can go a little bit lower. Breath is flowing like a river out of your mouth. Last two breaths. Gently lift the head up, remove the prop, come up onto those two hands. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up, pop your right foot in a little bit, straighten the left leg, and then start to walk your left foot towards center. Pyramid pose, Parjvottanasana. Let the right heel come down towards the earth, lengthen out the spine, and then drape your upper body over your left leg. Maybe your forehead is resting on your shin. Maybe not. Let your head be nice and heavy here. Keep sending that left hip back. Taking about three more full deep breaths.
On your next inhale, you'll gaze forward, bend into your left knee, drop the right knee down, pull your chest forward. Let the shoulder blades pinch together on the upper back. Nice, you guys, take a big breath in. Exhale, plant the palms down. Lift the left leg up and back, and then step back, downward facing dog. Last five deep breaths in your downward facing dog before we begin to bring it down to the mat for the remainder of our practice. Really feel that freedom in your neck. And let it trickle down to your head. Feel freedom in your mind. Last inhale. Exhale, knees drop down. We're coming into a tabletop pose. Left arm rises high up to the sky as you inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm slips underneath that right arm. And then begin to crawl your right fingertips all the way forward. Right palm is down on the ground or the mat. Let your hips just remain floating over your kneecap. And feel the difference between having your head, your knees, your shoulder, all resting on that blanket Feel supported, feel comforted. Full breath in. And out. Right palm crawls underneath right shoulder. Left arm rises all the way back up, inhale. Exhale, left palm grounds down. Let's just take one cat-cow to balance that out. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, cat pose, round the spine. Good, long neutral spine. Right arm rises all the way up, inhale. Exhale, thread it through. Right arm slips, slides underneath that left armpit. Left fingertips crawl all the way forward. And then close your eyes and relax. Finding freedom in the jaw, freedom in the shoulders. Two more breaths. Good, left palm crawls back under left shoulder. Right arm rises up, inhale. Exhale, right palm down. Good, you guys. Let's grab one of our pillows or a bolster if you have it. I'm actually going to stack two pillows on top of each other for this one. We're moving into supported pigeon pose. In restorative, this is called swan pose. So begin by opening the hip, the right foot sole of the right foot will lift up towards the sky and then begin to take massive circles with your right knee big hip rotation big big circles with the right knee nice you guys and then right leg extends long behind you inhale exhale right knee behind your right wrist setting up for that restorative pigeon so i'll show you how i like to get into it Instead of, you know, vinyasa intense pigeon, we're bringing the right heel towards the pubic bone. So it's coming in closer. And then I like to grab my, my pillows. Sorry, I keep wanting to call them bolsters and bring them up to my belly button. And then you're just gonna drape your body over the pillows. Since right knee is forward, we're gonna look to the, to the right. So left ear will drop down onto the pillow.
and we'll be here for about two full minutes. So go straight into it. Open your mouth, close your eyes. Let your head, your neck, everything relax. And start entering this space of restorative meditation by taking huge inhales through the nose and big clearing exhales out of your mouth. Just tracing the breath, follow your breath. I'll leave you in silence for the next two minutes. Good. You guys have about seven more long, full breaths. On your next inhale, slowly begin to bring your chin towards center and then crawl your shoulders or your wrists directly underneath your shoulder. We'll just go ahead and push it back, back into that tabletop pose. Start to wag the hips side to side. And we'll move into the other side. So stamp the ceiling with the sole of your left foot and then begin to take those big circles with your left knee, huge circle. Good, you guys. Just noticing the effects that this practice has already had on your body, so you feel calmer, more at ease. Left leg will extend long behind you as you inhale. Exhale, left knee behind the left wrist. Right leg slides back. And then again, left heel comes towards the pubic bone. Grab your pillow, bring them up to touch the body, and then go ahead and lengthen to fold over the pillows. Right ear will rest on the mat or on the pillows this time. And then your two minutes will begin now. Eyes are closed, jaw is soft, whole body is rested.
You have about three more long breaths in through the nose and out of the mouth. On your next inhale, chin draws towards center. Slowly begin to walk hands under shoulders. And then we'll come back into that tabletop pose. Just wagging the hips side to side. Good, you guys. I'm going to remove one of my pillows so that I only have one left over. And then what we will do is walk your knees over towards the left. So you're still facing the front of the mat, facing your pillow. Knees walk over towards the left side of your mat. And then hmm, grab that pillow that you just got rid of and place it in between your knees, in between your legs. Your legs will be at about a 90 degree angle. Okay, so it's like they're a little shelf. And then you're gonna walk that pillow that's on the mat up towards your right hip bone. Just so you can see mine, right, or pillow is pulling towards my right hip bone. And then you'll face that pillow. So we're taking a twist. Face your chest towards your pillow. Take a full inhale. And then exhale, lengthen to lower the chest all the way down. Now you have options here. We are all going to cactus out the arm. If you're fine right here, your right ear will rest on that pillow. We'll just let your chest drape. So we'll all try this first. And if you want to make this twist more intense, you're trying to wring something out. So lift your head up and drop your left ear towards the pillow, letting your neck come into the twist. Wherever you're at, feel your upper arm bones get nice and heavy. So your pecs will get this nice open stretch. And then a lot of times when we're twisting, our belly tends to contract. So see if you can release that. Let your belly just kind of hang out. And then close the eyes and soften the jaw. We'll be here for a nice, long, sweet minute, twisting and rinsing out the spine. As you're ready, I know this one feels good. It's hard to want to get out of it. And as you're ready, bring your chin towards center and then slowly walk the hands underneath the shoulder. We're going to do something nice and easy. So you'll just flip so that your back is facing the pillow now. Bring the soles of your feet together to touch. That pillow can, second one can just lay in between the legs. It's not really doing anything. And then we're gonna lay the back body down onto that pillow. Palms will face up. Chest will get nice and open. Soles of the feet are together. 
Knees are open wide. If that's uncomfortable, you just extend the legs out long instead. Palms are up and we're opening the chest. A really beautiful time to check in with our ankalpa, our intention for our practice. And just noticing if you're any closer to that intention that you set. Taking about five more full deep breaths right here. Last one. Good, you guys. Push your elbows down into the mat to lift yourself back up. Come up nice and slow. And then we're gonna do that same twist, just facing the left side of our mat. Well, it started off as the right side. So bring that pillow in between the knees. And then with your back to the pillow, you're gonna drop your knees over to the left. And then create that 90 degree angle and face the top of your mat. So face the front of the mat, open the chest. And now you'll notice that your knees are over to the right, the right of you. And then drape the chest over the pillow, cactus out the arm. Look on over towards your right hand your right arm bone. Just notice how that feels as you drop the chest into the pillow. And some of you might gaze over towards the left, taking the twist a little bit deeper into the neck and then your minute will start right about now. Feel your arm bones get nice and heavy. You take about five more long, full, deep breaths. Chin will begin to draw towards center. Walk your hands up underneath your shoulder. Good. We're going to start to transition onto our backs now. So find that pillow that's at the front of your mat, and I want you to change the direction of it. So, well, if it's a long pillow, then it matters. If it's not, it doesn't. And you can move that second pillow off to the side. We'll use it in just a bit. And then you'll face the back of your mat. 
and pull that pillow a little closer towards your lower back. It's about, I don't know, three inches away from your low back. And you'll start to drape your upper back, your mid back, your low back, all the way down onto the ground. You might need to make a few adjustments. And then interlace your fingertips at the nape of your neck and pull the back of your neck nice and long, just a gentle little tug. And then lay the back of your head, your neck all the way down, cactus out your arms, palms will face up. And then gently begin to extend the legs out long. So this is a low to mid back opener, a chest opener. And then enter the pose. You know, open up the mouth, relax the face, feel the cheekbones, the cheeks get nice and heavy as if they're sinking in. Feel the eyeballs drop back into the back of your skull. And feel all of that new life, that new energy through the form of the breath. Opening up the rib cage, the intercostal. Five more breaths. Gently begin to bend your knees. Place the soles of your feet underneath your knees. Feet are hips width distance apart. Preparing for a restorative bridge. So push your feet down into your mat. Lift your hips up, lift your low back up. And then start to transition that pillow, that first pillow that was just underneath your back down so it's underneath the sacrum. And then you can drop the hips back down onto the pillow. I'm going to grab my second pillow. Some of you might grab a third pillow, a block, whatever, and then slide it on top of that first pillow. So now I have two pillows on top of each other. I'm going to drop my low back. Oh my God, it feels so good. My sacrum down onto the pillow tower. You can let your arms rest wherever feels comfortable for you. I like mine alongside the body. Back of the head will get nice and long. Jaw opens. We have two sweet, blissful minutes here. I'll start my timer. Notice when the hips and the low back can soften, the whole lower body can just relax. If you'd like to take this even deeper, you can begin to extend your legs out long in front of you.
feel the whole frontal body open. You have five more full deep breaths. Slowly reawaken yourself. If your legs are not yet extended, extend them out nice and long. And we'll do just a tiny little bit of stretching before we move into our supported Shavasana. So bend your right knee with your low back, your sacrum on the block or the blanket and start to pull your right knee in towards your right armpit. You'll reach around for your right thigh, your right shin. Your left leg is still out long and you should get a nice deep stretch in that left psoas, the left hip flexor. Keep pulling the right knee towards that right armpit. Take about five full deep breaths. On your next exhale, release your right leg out nice and long. Feel the opening in both of the hips and then pull the left knee in towards the left armpit, changing sides. Grab onto that left shin or left thigh. And if this is too intense for you, you can always come down to one pillow or all the way down on the mat. You have your time here to breathe deeply. Five full deep breaths. On your next exhale, extend that left leg out long in front of you. Good, you guys. Begin to walk your feet back underneath your knees. Now you'll lift your hips up and push those pillows down so they're underneath your knees. So your low back, your sacrum, you might need to get up to move the pillows. Your low back, your sacrum are down on the mat, down on the blanket. Legs are out nice and long and fidget or do whatever you need. Move around until you are fully in the most comfortable space that you can be in. And then if you have a towel or something to place over the eyes, that's really nice. If you'd like to slip a pillow underneath your head and your neck, that's also a really good one. I'm going to do that. And once you're nice and cozy in your Shavasana, take a full breath in together. Big sigh, exhale. And rest in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. Together, we're here for three full minutes.
You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana. If you're ready to move on, begin to move the body around. So you can start with a nice little scalp massage, maybe removing the hair tie if you have one, moving the thumbs towards your temples, giving your temples a massage. And then move your thumbs all the way down towards the jaw and give your jaw a nice little massage. And start to release the jaw, move the wrists around, open the jaw nice and wide. Point and flex your feet and then come into a nice little ball, fetal pose. Feeling grounded and connected, supported by your practice and by yourself. And then slowly push yourself up and sit on one or many of your props. Find a nice, long, tall spine. Bow your chin in towards your heart and bring your hands to heart center, Atman Anjali Mudra. Honor yourself for all of your efforts and together we'll close class with a full breath. Big breath in. Clearing breath out or an ohm. And gently, let's all bow forward. Namaste. Namaste, yogis. Thank you so much for practicing this restorative practice with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Bye, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Emily. Bye. Thanks. Thank you guys. It was so good to see you all. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. So <laughs> oh, good to see you guys. <laughs>